the booth from here. It's a sculpture, an open sculpture. And it's by Zaha Hadid. And we're going to start with the Eve Klein blue painting. Eve Klein is so famous for this particular color that that's what they call this, Eve Klein blue. That's about a million dollars. This is a Rothko, a Mark Rothko, which could be about 10 to 15 million. This is a Marilyn, and it's a reversal. Usually, he would have a green face and the black outlines. The fact that it's reversed was another idea he had after his others were done. He was always trying to think, how could he reuse his screens? He silk screened. So how could he reuse the screen? He put, he put a reverse coloration on it. And where this is 1.2, if it was the other way with a green face and a black, it would probably be 2.2. Million. Our clients primarily are um, second homeowners that um, have homes here locally in Montauk and we do work with a variety of designers as well. Montauk just is such a laid back feel and just such a nice community. It was really the right fit for us. We're here today at the High School for Leadership and Public Service to introduce Operation Design and the project, The Doors. We're bringing in artists, actually from all over the country, mostly situated here in New York City, but they're, they're really from all over the country to work with this school to create panels that will be applied to their doors and their hallways throughout the school, decorating their school with color and imagination and feeling about leadership and public service. We are Operation Design. We're really happy to be here and to meet all of you guys. We'll be working with you for at least a month. And we'll be working directly with very well-known, very famous artists um, that work in the commercial field, as well as uh, graffiti artists and uh, those that work in graphic design. To fulfill these programs and give some time. Some of the students who we met uh, have asked about internships in the summer, have asked about how do you pursue a career path in graphic design, um, what are the right schools to look at when you're applying to colleges, all of that sort of stuff. And I think that that comes part and parcel of being part of Operation Design is that uh, we have to serve as a mentor to students in that form and answer their questions intelligently and point them in directions or, or point them away from directions that we may have seen or have opinions on um, and make sure that they have the right information in front of them so that they can make the decision that's most appropriate for them. The final result is not just beautiful hallways due to gorgeous panels, but the result is the experience the students are having. We don't really walk into a project with any expectations, but we walk in with great hope. And in this project, we are really meeting great expectations and it's exceeding our hopes. And they're so comfortable and they're artistic, which is perfect. It's not about something scale specific. I think that that's what Charles and Rayeen exemplifies. We're bringing the big world of design to a level that's understandable for children. It's a canvas. It's a very um, modern canvas. I mean, I think the mark of a very good design is that it, it's very simple. It allows things to be done with it. You know, it allows itself to work in your home. It allows itself to be painted on. It allows itself to become something more than what it is. That's that's a classic. So I really like the James and Carla Marita. It was very inspiring, and I like the, the fact that they took all the retro names of New York. And everything's incredible, and everything.
everything I look at brings about such a different, stirs up such a different emotion every piece. So it's really such an interesting collection. I love it. They're, and they're so comfortable and they're artistic, which is perfect. of the chaise. I mean, you have mm -hmm. the early Perion chair, then you have this, then you have a similar line later in the 60s by Olivier Moore called the Gin Series, which is what you saw in Stanley Kubrick's Odyssey. These are chairs by Simon Hassan. He's a British designer. This is boiled leather, which is a very medieval technique. By boiling the leather, it makes it hard, so it's almost like plastic. In the 15th century, they would use this type of leather to create shields and helmets, breastplates. So we are taking a really medieval technique and turning it into a very contemporary chair. So in this case, it's boiled leather on top of a stainless steel base. This chair costs $18,000 US and was produced just last month. So I said I'll never drink it again. Ever. I feel like we're winners. Yeah. I mean, what could really happen that would be so bad? To ponder the endless possibilities. Or it might just fuck up tomorrow morning. Yeah. Cheers. Salud. So good. Ah. You've been sweating. I'm melting. That's what's happening to me. Because my apartment's being fumigated, so I'm out for like eight hours. It's crazy. My apartment's right upstairs if you want to take a shower. Really? Sure, why not? It's a friendly town. It is a friendly town. Damn those cucarachas. 